Hello Tribal Makers, my name is Michal Malev and welcome to my channel. In today's Tuesday Combo, we're going to learn a beginner's intermediate fusion belly dance combination. It's four sentences, 32 counts, a fun follow along dance tutorial. Come and play with me, learn some new skills, polish for previous ones. And before we begin, make sure you're warmed up, that you have a glass of water nearby. And I would like to say a quick thank you to all my subscribers and all of my viewers. Thank you, you guys, we're slowly growing. And let's begin with the practice. We begin the first phrase in a cabaret stance, so put one foot slightly in front of the other. Make sure that the ball of the foot and the fingers are spread wide on the floor, it's giving you stability. The knees are free, bend them a little bit. This is very important to prevent injury and to allow the freedom of movement in the hips. We need to make sure that both of our knees are bent, so make sure that the base leg is slightly bent. Tilt your pelvis inwards. We're trying to prevent ourselves from overarching our back, so we're tilting inwards. The reason that I say tilt and not tuck, because tuck is a very aggressive movement and not all of us need it. If you have very big lower doses in your lower back, you might want to tuck. But if you have a smaller doses, like I am, for example, a small tilt to make sure that the lower spine is pointing downwards, that the sacrum is pointing downwards, is all that you need. From here, we're activating our core muscles, elongating our spine, rolling our shoulders backwards, and let's take our arms to the side. We're spreading them wide and strong. From here, we're going to do a floreo on the first four counts. So we're doing a floreo inwards on the count of one, two, three, four, and slowly raising our arms up. So we have one, two, three, four. Now, a floreo is when we're doing a circle with our wrist. We're turning our wrist the full range of movement into the new, and we try to isolate it into the wrist, meaning the elbow hardly moves when we're doing it. You might feel a little bit of vibration going on where all of this part is connected, but the movement is initiated in the wrist. Also make sure that the fingers are not floppy. You have strong fingers. I like the stylization when one finger, when the mid finger is trying to reach the thumb, but do whatever feels comfortable. If you want to have strong fingers that are, when the thumb is not reaching the, um, the middle finger, you can do that as well. So we have inwards and we're going one, two, three, four, and we're creating this beautiful shape here. On the five, six, seven, eight, we're going to do a figure eight in the cabaret stand. So we're taking our hips forward and back on five, six, seven, eight. So again, we have forward and back. This can be a little bit strange if you're not used to it. Make sure that the base leg is bent. If you're doing with a straight knee, you might feel your knee jamming into it, even into your ankle. So make sure it's slightly bent. It gives you the freedom of movement to move slowly and comfortably here. So let's do the whole phrase to both sides. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing to the other side. So let's switch our feet, make sure you're tilting. The base leg is slightly bent, long spine, strong spine, shoulders backwards. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, let's continue. We're starting the second phrase with our arm framing our bodies in a cabaret stand after we did our figure eight. From here, we're going to frame our body with one of our arms. So one arm on the count of one is going to go downwards on the count of one, two, three, four. Pay attention that the palm of the other hand is going to face outwards. So we have one, two, three, four. On the five, six, we're raising our arm up and on the seven, eight, we're closing. So again, just this movement, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, let's do it to the other side and I would like you to pay attention to the concept of putting intention into your arm movements. When I'm not giving any tension or intention into my arm movement, look at the way that it looks. I'm doing it flabbly, I'm just moving my arm through the space making the movement. On the other hand, the moment I put tension into the palm of my hand and into the arm and there is a lot of energy that is happening here, all of a sudden this very simple movement becomes magical. So play with the different tensions you can put in the, the, the move, into the movement and look what good, looks good on you and what works with your music. Now on top of this we're going to layer some hip work. We're going to do half the hip circle on the count of one, two, three, four and on the five, six, seven, eight we're going back into the cabaret stand into our strong stable posture with a small hip slide. 
Now, when you're doing your half hip circle, please make sure you're not letting go of your core muscles here. You're not going into an arch. This is not healthy for your lower back, so please don't do this. Make sure that you're stacked, that you're keeping your core muscles engaged when you're doing this movement and when you're sliding inwards. This will protect your lower back. So let's do the sentence on both sides when we're layering our hips. So let's do it from this point to this side. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, same thing to the other side. We have from here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Now, if you're feeling uncomfortable layering the hip work with the arm work, then just do one of them. It's your practice. Choose whatever it is you want to practice on. You want to practice on the arm movement, do just the arm movement. You want to work on your hips, work on your hips. You want to do both of them, do both of them. You can play with the combination. Make it your own. It's all here for you guys. It's a tool that I'm offering you. And if you want to take and do what you want with it, it's your dance, it's your practice. So let's do the combination on both sides. We'll start with this one. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, same thing to the other side. So from here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's continue. We're going to shimmy on the next eight counts in a cabaret stand. Now, I know for beginners, a lot of times shimmying in a cabaret stand may feel a little bit awkward or even impossible for the first few trial. I know it took me forever to just do the normal um, hip shimmy when you're standing in a cabaret stand. And then when I was told that I need to lift one, one heel up and do my shimmying in a cabaret stand, it took me another few months to make sure that I'm balanced and I'm feeling comfortable in it. So do what feels comfortable. If you're feeling uncomfortable shimmying at this moment in a cabaret stand, simply put your heel down, transition yourself into the, the basic dance posture and keep your shimmying from here. Shimmy, just to go over the movement again, is a movement that is initiated from your knees. We're bending and straightening our knees alternatively. Don't lock your knees. We try to avoid locking our knees. It's not healthy for the knee joint, for your ankle, for your hips. Don't do that, and of course, for your back. So we're always going from one almost maximum bend into almost maximum straightening of your knee here. So we're playing with this motion and we slowly pick up the pace. And as we go faster and faster and faster and faster, the shimmy goes up into our hips and into our body, into our soul, mind and spirit. So shimmy is a wonderful movement. It does take time to get used to it. So play with your shimmy. Play and practice. Practice while you're drinking coffee. Practice while you're, I don't know, you're hanging your laundry. Just when you're standing at home, give yourself a few seconds of shimmy and increase the time. And with time and with practice, it becomes second nature and your first nature. For me, shimmy is a relaxation movement. I relax when I shimmy. And don't forget to breathe. Breathing is very important when you're shimmy. If you're not breathing, you can't shimmy. So relax. We bend your knees alternatively and slowly build your shimmy. So for the first eight counts, we're shimmying here. So we're in a cabaret stand and we're shimmying. We're going to take our arms from one side on one, two, and on three, four to the other side. You can sway a little bit with it if you're feeling comfortable, or you can just do the same movement in a basic dance posture, taking your arms from one side to the other on the count of one, two, three, four. On the five, six, seven, eight, I'm transitioning back into the original position, which is the cabaret stand. We're going to take our arms down on five, six, and on the seven, eight, we're opening them to the side here. So again, from the beginning, let's do just the arms in the cabaret stand. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's do the same thing to the other side. So from here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's add our shaming to it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
same thing to the other side and I'll add a little bit of sway into it. You don't have to, but I think it looks lovely. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, now let's do the whole combination from the beginning. So we'll relax our arm for a second. Take a deep breath, move into the cabaret stand. And we begin in five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, same thing with the other side. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, let's continue. On the last phrase, we're going to play with our upper torso a little bit. So let's spread our arms to the side, transition into the cabaret stand, make sure that the base leg is slightly bent, that there is a small tilt in your pelvis, long spine, strong spine, shoulders backwards, arms spread to the side. And from here, we're going to raise one shoulder up on the count of one. So we have one. On the count of two, we're lifting the other shoulder up. So we have two. On three, we're going to take both of our shoulders down and we're going to take our chest up. Now, when you're working with your chest, the movement is initiated from the scapulas, from this part of your body. So you're basically taking your scapulas and you're taking them inward. You're rotating them inward here. So you have the small movement of the chest. This is not going forward. The pelvis is completely neutral. There'll be a little bit of vibration in your abdominal muscles and in the lower back, but they're relatively relaxed. They're reacting, they're not initiating. The whole movement is initiated from your upper back. It's a wonderful movement, especially for those of us who are hunched over computers, you know, in our cell phone, in our tablets, or just laying on the sofa like this. Just stretching this part, the thoracic spine, giving the small relaxation is so healthy for us in this modern age. So from here, we have going up and down, up and down. It's the chest going up and down, up and down, up and down. And when we're taking our shoulders down on the count of three and allowing our chest to go up, the movement looks way bigger than it is. So don't try to make the movement bigger. This small, you know, manipulation that we do on the audience when this part is going down and this one goes up, it looks way bigger than it is. So start by working small and with time and with practice, you'll get to do it bigger. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So we'll start with this shoulder this time. We have one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. I lost my balance. We have one, two, three, four. So again, the movement is from the upper back. The rest of the is really enjoying this one. Allow yourself to spread your chest. Show it off where women were allowed to show it off. And also men, be proud of your chest. So we're taking again, shoulder up, up, down, up, and down. Okay, so this was count one, two, three, four. On the five, six, seven, eight, we're going to transition our feet. So we're going to transition from this position into this position. And how we're going to do this, I want you to, and on the last four counts, we're going to transition from the cabaret stand from one side to the other. So let's look at what I'm doing with my feet here. We're going to look at it from the side and I'm taking the foot down on flat and we're going to start with flat feet. So the foot that was to the front, we're taking it backwards and we're tilting a little bit back. We're taking the then base leg and now the front leg back to center, back to the back. We're taking the first leg to the front here and then we're transitioning to the other side. So let's do it again from this, from this angle with these feet. So we have back, back, front, up. And now we're going to do it on our toes. So I'm taking my front leg back. So I have toe, toe, flat, toe. Again, toe, toe, flat, toe. And this is the way that I change my feet. So I have toe, toe, flat, toe. And when you're doing it slower, it's actually harder. So again, we have toe, toe, flat, toe, 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 flat, toe. Toe, toe, flat, toe. 
toe, toe, left, toe, 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 left, toe. Beautiful, let's do it to the front. So from here we have toe, toe, flat, toe, 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 flat, toe, 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 flat, toe. Now we can go with straighter legs, which will give you a little bit more bounciness, or if you make sure that you really bend your knees, you can do it as flat, and as movement free in the upper body as possible. So if I'm really bending my knees and I want you to try it with me for a second, you have toe, toe, flat, toe. Toe, toe, flat, toe. And you notice I don't move here. The upper part of the body doesn't move. So it depends on what stylization you want. Since we're doing it a little bit more freestyle, I am going to add a little bit of bounce to it because I'm also adding my arms. And with the movement of the arm, it will work better with this bounciness into it. So play with both variations, with both technique, and see what works better on you. So from here, we're going to add this little cross of the arms on the five, six, and on seven, eight, we're lifting our arms upwards. And make sure that you're lifting your arms upward because this will give you the momentum to start the floreo again and to bind the whole combination and start it to the other side. So let's do just the last four counts with the arms. So from here we have toe, toe, flat, toe. Again, toe, toe, flat, toe. Toe, toe, flat, toe. Toe, toe, flat, toe. Toe, toe, flat, toe. And you can also add a little bit of swing in the hips if this is the vibe you're going for or feeling with. But this is basically it. So let's do the whole sentence to both sides and then we'll do the whole combination on both sides. So the last phrase, the fourth phrase. We have the side Let's start with this one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing to the other side and we're already positioned to the other side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. So let's do the full combination on both sides. We begin with five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shimmy, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and great job. Now let's play with the music. Did you notice the sun came out? Five, six, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, five. And 
Hand Pose. Great job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the practice. If you did, give me a quick thumbs up and join the tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check out previous tutorials, mix and match combinations, create your own dances with them. And that's it. I'll see you next week. And remember, life is too short. Enjoy it. Bye.